Hey, good morning everybody. And as you can see, this is a response to the Schleg Daddy's video of the top 15 reasons Vince McMahon sucks. Now, I don't have a list, nor will I talk about something and then you'll see the number and the title under the number of why Vince McMahon sucks. I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to kind of kind of point out and agree with some, of, some, if not most, of what Jeff said here. Now, Jeff, you said that one of the reasons Vince McMahon sucks is the fact that he's past his prime, that he's out of touch with a lot of things. And you're right. You're right. He is past his time. He is out of touch with a lot of things. But, will you ha but Vince McMahon doesn't see that himself. And even though, even though the board of directors may see it, and even though his own family, like Stephanie McMahon and his son-in-law Triple H may see it, and even though his son, who's running a freaking broadband company right now, and is more interested in MMA, and probably investing in that someday, sees it, and maybe even his wife, who wants to run for Senate, sees it, Vince doesn't. And even though, like I said, everybody else sees it, especially those, like the board of directors, the shareholders, who have the power, like Congress does, to impeach a president, like when Congress decides to impeach a president because they feel he's not doing a good job. You know, the board of directors have that same kind of power. It doesn't matter what company. I agree with that. But here's the problem. This McMahon is a multi-billionaire. Not a millionaire, but a billionaire. And here's the thing. Vince McMahon probably has some kind of hold over the board of directors. In my opinion. Just my opinion. I think this is why the board of directors haven't come out and said, you know what, Vince is really behind the times. You know, all this we're doing now should have been done a long time ago. Let's get rid of him. No. The reason the board of directors aren't doing that, simple reason. Vince McMahon has some kind of hold over them. He probably has something written into the contract when they got hired on saying, stating that, hey, if you try to, you know, overthrow me or you try to oust me as your chairman or, and your CEO, I'll sue your asses. That's essentially what I think he did. I think essentially he put in the contracts or when he met with them and hired each and every one of them that he said, you try to impeach me or you try to get rid of me or you try to oust me as CEO and try to get somebody else in here, I'll sue your asses. That's another reason why I think the board of directors haven't taken no action. Because of that. And another reason too, Jeff, and I think you'll agree with this, another reason Vince McMahon has not, hasn't realized that it's time for him to go, and even if he does have any sense of the fact that he realizes he needs to go, the reason he hasn't realized that is fear. It's fear, Jeff. That's what it is. Vince McMahon is afraid. And you know what he's afraid of, Jeff? He's afraid this company is going to go under without him there. That's what it is. He's afraid they're going to go under if he's not there. He's afraid that what happened between 96 and 98, those 82 weeks in a row that WCW was whooping their ass in the Monday Night Wars, he's afraid he's going to get a repeat of that with the new competition that's out there. That's right. He's afraid that if he's not in charge, he's not in charge, he's not the chairman still, he's not the one calling the shots anymore, he's afraid if he's not the one doing that, that companies like TNA, who air on Thursdays like tonight, and Ring of Honor, who, ring, who airs on Saturdays and Sundays, is in syndication thanks to the Sinclair Broadcasting Corporation. The reason he's afraid the reason he's not realized yet that it's time for him to move on, move on into retirement, settle down and enjoy the, what he has left of his life and the freedom that he'll have, the reason he has not done that is due to the fact that he's afraid that these two companies whose prime programs air on Thursday nights and on the weekends will come in, will come in swoop off his audience, swoop up his audience and blow them out of the water. That's what he's afraid of. And even though some people will say that's never going to happen, which might be true, 
You don't see it. You have to see it from Vince McMahon's perspective. He looks at it like, oh, if I step away, if I step down, TNA and Ring of Honor are going to come in and kick my company's ass. You know what? Let's say that was the case. Let's say that was the case. Maybe that would be the WWE's wake-up call to realize we need to change. Maybe that would be the wake-up call to say, okay, we got Vince out of the way now. We got somebody else new in charge. Now it's time to move on. Now it's time to change. It's time to go back to basics. It's time to go back to what made us what we were. That's another reason. That, to me, is several reasons. One of the reasons not just with the fact that he may have some damn grasp on the board of directors and some kind of agreement in the contract stating, hey, if you try to get rid of me, I'll sue your asses. To me, I think the main priority Vince doesn't want to leave is he's afraid TNA and Ring of Honor are going to come in and whoop, whoop his ass. They're going to come in, whoop the WWE's ass, take up his audience, and leave him with nothing. Heck, he's even afraid you... I, I bet you anything, he's even afraid... UFC is going to do that. Hell, UFC's already done that in some ways. Uh, some ways, right, Jeff? I mean, look at me. I watch UFC at occasion, on occasions. I do watch UFC. But I was, But the thing is, I didn't watch it as much until I saw most of it. Still, I saw some of the UFC on Fox this past Saturday. Only then, only then did I realize what the hell I was missing. So the truth is. The truth is, that's what Vince is afraid of. That's why he's probably not... That's why, why as my father has once said about my mom one time. My father said one time about my mom. That's why he... That's what... But my, but this, this is basically one thing my father said about my mom one time. That, it's her, that at times, it, she does, that her pro, that the times that she doesn't let her pride... Or there are times that she... Over the surprise, override her sense of thinking. Overrides her coming out and proving or admitting she was wrong. This is the same with Vince McMahon. This is the same with Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon does not. Vince McMahon's pride is so big and so large. His ego is the same way that it will not step aside and allow him to admit he's wrong. It will not allow him to step aside and allow him to admit he's wrong. It, it won't. It won't allow him to step aside and admit he's wrong. That's why Vince McMahon is never going to step down right now. That's one of the reasons. And he should, I admit that. But the thing is, it's his pride, it's his ego, it's his fear of TNA, Ring of Honor, and UFC coming in and swooping up his audience and taking away all that revenue. That's what he's afraid of. Now, another reason I will agree with you is that, WW, that Vince McMahon is past his prime. is past his time. Another reason, letting his daughter, who I think is one of the most attractive uh, women I've ever seen WWE have, and that's saying a lot, and I'm pretty sure a lot will agree, this is why, this is why he's past his prime and prime in his time and he needs to step down. He allows his daughter, who has been in the ring, probably has some knowledge, a tiny bit, tiny bit of knowledge of the wrestling business. You know, be the head of be the head of creative. This is one of the reasons I agree he needs to step down. He lets his own daughter, who has a tiny bit of knowledge about the way the business is run, by the way the business is run, be the head of creative, and what does she do? Instead of going to somebody like her husband, or maybe to someone like a Mick Foley, or whoever wrestling personality she could go to, and asking him, hey, what kind of people should I bring in part of my creative staff? Instead, she relies on, like you said, the soap operas, the movie, the soap opera writers, the movie writers, and all that. She relies on that, instead of anything else. She relies on that more than anything else. And there's another reason why that happened, why that is. And it's not because she probably doesn't understand she needs to have actual 
people that know this wrestling, know the wrestling business inside and out as part of her creative staff. But instead, she ends, but, but one of the other reasons is not because, you know, she wants to have more drama, more comedy, more family-friendly atmosphere in there as part of the storylines and whatever else they create for the, for the shows or the pay-per-views. It's also, and this may be far-fetched, it's also her parental side. That's right. Let's not forget, Stephanie McMahon is now a mother. So Stephanie McMahon's parental side is saying, hire these people, don't hire these people. Hire the movie and soap opera and comedy writers, don't hire the actual wrestlers or people that have been in this business and know about this business more than anyone, more than those people. And it's all because of that parental side. She'd rather trust the creative process of the WWE in the hands of those movie people, those Hollywood people, than those that have been in the business because she believes that those Hollywood people are going to give the product that P keep that product in the range of PG. That is what she wants. <sighs> Dog's teasing me. I don't know why she's doing that. But that's basically what she wants. And again, that's another acknowledgement that Vince needs to step down. Another acknowledgement that he needs to step down. He needs to basically move on. Let somebody else take control. Let me take my time here. Got about three more minutes. May have to put this in two parts. But again, that's another acknowledgement that Vince needs to step down. Another acknowledgement that he needs to step down and move on. But you see, he won't do that. He won't do that due to the fact, again, going back to what I mentioned before, it's his pride and his ego. And, you know, okay, Stephanie aside, I have no problem possibly with her being the head of creative as long as she has the right people in her ear. You know, not having her father said, hey, go with what you feel is best. Because if she goes with what she feels is best, she goes with, like I said, the Hollywood writers, who she possibly, who she believes and hopes keeps the product in the PG family friendly rate. And speaking of that, speaking of that family friendly rating, 40%, this is what I read, 40% I read this on WrestlingNewsWorld.com. It may not be an actual, no, may not be the, an accurate number, may not a percentage number, but according to Richard Gray, 40 percent, maybe 50 percent, of the targeted demographic are women and children. Well, the other 50 to 60 percent are over that. So Vince McMahon needs to. So Jeff, I think you would agree that Vince McMahon needs to wake up and realize. Oh, 60% of my money comes from those 18 and over. Oh, duh. What do the 18 and over want? Oh, I don't know. They want things back to the way they were in the night from 98 to 2006. Or 98 to 2000, from 98 to about 2008. That's what they want. They want things back to around that range. They don't want things the way they are now. They want things back to the way they were. You know, it, it's kind of like it's kind of like with the a certain comic book of mine, a certain favorite comic of mine. And I'll get into that in part two.